Hello, everyone, and welcome to the University of Northern Iowa's 2021 Retiree Health Plan Options presentation. My name is Corey Hooger. I'm the Medicare Business Consultant at Walmart Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And last year, I had the opportunity to present and meet many of you as we discussed your options uh, sponsored by the University of Northern Iowa for those who are already retired and for those of you maybe who are starting to think about retirement and, and see that in the near future. So for the next few minutes, we're going to go through several topics. We're gonna to talk about Medicare just in general. We'll review some of the basics of Medicare just so you understand what coverages you have available to you from the Medicare system through the federal government. We'll talk about what options are available to you to cover you medically at the hospital, at the doctor's office and so forth. And then we'll also cover what options are available to cover you uh, from a prescription drug perspective. So what will happen to you if you have to fill a prescription at the pharmacy. So I'd like to uh, welcome all of you. Thank you for your time this afternoon or this evening, whenever this is playing. Uh, we hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe during these uncertain times, and we look forward to talking to you for the next few minutes. In the next few slides, we're gonna take some time to review the basics of Medicare. Now, many of you uh, reviewing this presentation may already be on Medicare. Some of these topics may be familiar to you. Some of you may not have entered Medicare yet. And I'm going to try in the next few slides just to cover some of the basics, talk through some of the things that might be most important to you regarding your Medicare coverage, and set the conversation up for what you can uh, decide in terms of what your options are to help supplement that Medicare coverage as those plans that are sponsored by the University of Northern Iowa. As I stated, the next slide is dedicated to covering Medicare and what those coverages available to you are, how much they cover, what costs they are to you. Again, those of you who are already on the Medicare system may be familiar with some of these terms. If not, I hope to give you uh, some basic fundamentals so that you can understand what options and what coverages are available to you when you reach Medicare eligibility. Last year, we did add a new option, and at that time, what we stated to you was the new options available to you through Walmart Blue Cross and Blue Shield are different from what they were in years past, but the Medicare coverage that you have, or soon possibly will have, remains the same. The important note on this slide, in addition to some of the other things I will cover, is that Medicare parts A and B, as you can see on the slide, will be your primary coverage. The change last year was adding a new option available to you uh, that pays secondary to original Medicare. Previously, you had a plan sponsored by the University of Northern Iowa that paid secondary to Medicare in a certain way, and we'll cover some of those details here in a few slides. The new option covers you supplementally in a different way, and we'll talk about what that means in just a few slides as well. But for now, let's talk about original Medicare. So those of you who are already on original Medicare likely uh, and, and cer certainly are enrolled in both pieces of original Medicare, and that is Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B. Sometimes when we think about Medicare, people get very confused. There's a lot of different uh, terminologies. There's a lot of different abbreviations. There's a lot of acronyms, and there's a lot of bit pieces of the alphabet. Sometimes I call Medicare its own alphabet soup. So in this slide, what we wanted to do was give you some basics of Medicare. And let's start with Part A. That coverage, Medicare Part A, covers you at the hospital. You can see that there's some additional coverages available to you at the inpatient hospital care level, skilled nursing facility care, and hospice as well. But in general, most people refer to Medicare Part A as their hospital coverage, and by and large, that is correct. The second piece is Medicare Part B. We refer to that as medical coverage. A lot of people think of this as their coverage at the doctor's office, and that is true for the most part because that is primarily where Medicare Part B pays. But you can see on the slide there are several other areas uh, where Medicare Part B may kick in. I did want to take a quick moment just to talk about when you become eligible for Medicare Parts A and B. The simple answer for most people is that eligibility for Part A and Part B begins the month of your 65th birthday. There are limited instances where you may qualify for Medicare prior to age 65, but those generally are due only or only possible uh, if you uh, have certain disabilities and you would have to contact Medicare or the Social Security Administration to learn whether you might be eligible earlier than age 65. But for most people, age 65 is when we start to think about Medicare becoming uh, possible and, and you becoming eligible for Medicare. 
We talked about what the coverages are. Let's dive into just a few more details on this slide. One thing that is not listed, but one thing, uh, one question I often get when talking to individuals about Medicare is how much might Part A or Part B cost me? So let's talk about those. Again, those of you who are already on Medicare, you're probably aware of these costs. You're probably already paying some of those. For some of those, uh, for some of you who may be new to Medicare or thinking about it in the near future, it's helpful to know what the financial implications of those might be. For Part A, the discussion is relatively simple. Part A, for most people, I would guess 99% of the clients that we work with qualify for Medicare Part A at no additional cost at age 65 or initial eligibility. There is a qualification that is required to meet in order to receive Medicare Part A at no additional cost. And that formula works like this. If you have worked for 10 quarters throughout the course of your lifetime, or excuse me, 10 years or 40 quarters throughout the course of your lifetime, if you have paid into the payroll tax system, into the Medicare system for 40 quarters, or again, 10 years, it does not have to be continuous, you will qualify for Medicare Part A upon initial eligibility at no additional cost. In addition, if you happen to have stayed at home but were married to a spouse who paid into the payroll system for 40 quarters or 10 years, you also would qualify for Medicare Part A at no additional cost at age 65 or initial eligibility. So you can see, and I would guess most of you listening to this presentation today, uh, you have met that 40 quarter or 10 year criteria. And at age 65, or if you're already on Medicare, you are likely paying no additional premium for Medicare Part A. So at age 65, most people do in fact opt to elect Medicare Part A at age 65 um, because it is at no additional cost. If you have coverage through work, it pays as a secondary coverage. So most people do take Medicare Part A at age 65 or initial eligibility. Part B is a little bit more complex and let's talk through it. There are two components to Medicare Part B in relation to costs that I wanna cover with you today. The first one is that there is a monthly premium for Medicare Part B. That monthly pre pre uh, premium is paid by you as the Medicare enrollee. It is paid to the federal government to help pay for the coverages and the cost of Medicare Part B. So there is a monthly premium that is not paid to the, to the health insurance companies. It is paid directly uh, to the federal government. And now most people do not write a check or have a withdrawal made. Most people, if they're taking Social Security at age 65, their Medicare Part B premiums are withdrawn automatically on a monthly pay, uh, basis from their social security checks. The second thing I wanna note, in addition to the fact that there is a monthly premium, is that that premium is contingent upon your income. And here's how this works, it is a two year look back provision. So for example, if I was going to enroll in Medicare this month, October of 2020, the federal government would look at my tax return from 2018 to determine my premium for 2020. When the year rolls over to 2021, the federal government will look at my 2019 income tax statement to determine what my premium is for 2021. It changes each year on a two year look back basis. It is important to note or important to think through this almost like your federal income taxes. And we know how that generally works here in the United States in general. The more you make in terms of income, the more you pay in taxes. The less you make, the less you pay in taxes. And it works very similarly in your Part B premium calculations. The more you make in general, the more you pay in premiums. I'm gonna reference a website that's very important for you to know. That website is the federal government's uh, internet connection uh, related directly to Medicare. And that website address is medicare.gov, M-E-D-I-C-A-R-E.gov. This is the source that you can use to reference a wide number of Medicare questions, but if you wanna determine what your Medicare Part B premiums will be for any given year, that is the resource to go to. The federal government sets those premiums on an annual basis. They do change them from year to year, and like everything else, generally, they go up, but they do change the income requirements and how much you would have had to make to qualify for certain levels of premium. So I highly recommend, if you're starting to think through what will my cost be, either for 2020 right now, or when we roll into 2021, medicare.gov is the place to go to reference it and start to put together some of those calculations. The last note I will make on this slide is to remind you that Medicare Parts A and Parts B both 
pay approximately 80% of the claims dollars for those particular coverages. So for example, if I have a hospital stay and my hospital bill is $1,000, on average, Medicare Part B or Part A, excuse me, will pay about 80% of those claims costs, so $800 in that example. Now that's a very simple example. It can become a little more complicated, but I just wanted to share what those numbers are uh, and what coverages you receive from Medicare so that you understand later when we talk about supplementing original Medicare, what, that amount, uh, what those amounts might be. So now that we've covered the basics of Medicare, let's talk about how we will go about supplementing that Medicare coverage. We mentioned in the previous slide that parts A and B cover about 80% of your claims cost, and that's a great amount of coverage, and you've earned it by paying into the payroll tax system throughout the course of your working life. But of course, as we all know, if we don't supplement that 80%, the remaining 20% remains your responsibility even after you enroll in Medicare. And we also know that medical bills can rack up very quickly. So if all I did was enroll in Medicare Parts A and B, I would have a nice set amount of coverage. But if I had a lengthy hospital stay due to an illness or an unforeseen accident, those medical bills could rack up fairly quickly. And that's why we always recommend, and most people in Iowa still do, supplement their original Medicare with some uh, type of coverage. You have two options available to you, and then in the next few slides, we'll outline those and talk about a couple of the options that Wellmark provides to you and the University of Northern Iowa provides to you to supplement your original Medicare coverage. The first option I'm going to cover today is on the next slide, Employer Group Retiree Program F. And this was the new program that we offered to retirees beginning last year, and it will remain an option for you going forward into 2021. This option does supplement original Medicare. It's very similar to what you might have seen in the individual market or you purchasing your own health plan uh, called Medicare supplements, or you may hear those referred to as Medigap plans. They're all one and the same, and this program F works very similarly. Let's talk about some of the details. The first bullet on the slide indicates that employer group retiree programs are purchased from private insurance companies. They are sponsored by employer groups, so in your case, this is the University of Northern Iowa, to offer coverage to their retirees. The private insurance company in this instance that you would be working with is Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. We sponsor, uh, or excuse me, we uh, administer the program F that is sponsored by the University of Northern Iowa. Bullet point new, uh, two, we've already kind of discussed. These programs are designed to pay secondary for services approved by Medicare. So these plans are to, uh, in place to take care of the remaining 20% that we discussed in the last few slides. If you'll recall, Medicare Parts A and B cover about 80%. These supplemental plans, the Employer Group Retiree Program F plans, are designed to cover that remaining 20%. And we'll talk about a few more details here in the next slide. Key bullet point uh, on this slide is bullet point number three. You must be enrolled in both Medicare Part A and Part B in order to participate in the Employer Group Retiree Program F offered to you by the University of Northern Iowa. The reason for that is fairly simple. These supplemental plans, the Employer Group Retiree Programs, pay after Medicare. Uh, if you do not have Medicare Part A and Part B in place, these plans will not pay until Medicare has paid. Another important point to note is that uh, in order to receive benefits on this employer group retiree program, the services that you receive must be covered by Medicare. Now, by and large, a uh, very, very large majority of the uh, pro services provided by uh, your medical providers are covered by Medicare, but if you ever have a question, uh, you want to make sure that those benefits or those services are covered by original Medicare uh, before these supplemental benefits will kick in. And then finally, we'll talk about this uh, towards the tail end of our presentation, is that you must purchase a Medicare prescription drug plan or a Part D plan. You may hear us refer to as Part D separately. We'll talk about those options at the tail end of today's presentation. Now that we've covered the high-level overview of the uh, University of Northern Iowa's Employer Group Retiree Program F, let's talk about all of the options available to you as a University of Northern Iowa retiree. 
We'll start with the Medicare uh, Retiree Program F that we already covered at a high level, and then we'll touch on the UNI Retiree PPO and HMO plans uh, that are available to you. Just as a quick point of reference, we've already talked about this a few times today, but the uh, Medicare Program F is the new option uh, that was effective last year that was available to you. The Retiree PPO and HMO plans have been available to you uh, for some time. You still have the option to participate in those, but let's talk a little little bit about what the newer program is uh, and talk about some of the details. So the first thing I would note you can see is that this Medicare Supplement Program F is a very rich benefit. You can look down the left hand side of the slide and look through all of the rows on that, uh, on that sheet and see that there are very little out-of-pocket costs, in fact no out-of-pocket costs due to you other than the premium as long as that service is covered by Medicare. So you can see no deductibles, no co-pays, no co-insurance. Uh, uh, as we think through that Medicare Supplement Program F. So very rich benefits. And we'll talk about a few more details of this as well on the next few slides. I do want to uh, highlight what this program might cost you. The 2021 cost is $207.80. That is a monthly premium, and that is per person. So if you have a spouse who's going to participate, they would also uh, be due that $207.80. And we'll talk about that in a little more detail as well. But I wanted to mention those costs. They should also be available in the packet provided to you by the University of Northern Iowa. I won't go through each uh, row uh, for the retiree PPO and HMO plans, but you can see that those plans still available to you. The rates for 2021 are in your packets that pr were provided to you by the University of Northern Iowa. And you can see a variety of deductibles, out-of-pocket costs, co-pays, and so forth. It doesn't mean to say that one plan necessarily is better than the other, but if you think through what your current health condition is and what obligations might be uh, to you from a financial standpoint, you can see that the Medicare Supplement Program F does stack up very nicely in comparison uh, to the PPO and HMO options provided to you. So I want to do a little bit more detail on the previous slide regarding the uh, Employer Group Retiree Program F, but this slide is another demonstration of the rich benefits available to you on this Medicare uh, Retiree Program F offered uh, by the University of Northern Iowa. I already mentioned that this plan at a high level is a premium only plan, meaning you pay your premium on a monthly basis. If Medicare covers the service that you're having done or the procedure that you're having done, you will receive your benefits at no additional cost. In other words, no deductibles, no co-pays, no out-of-pocket maximums, so on and so forth. I wanted to take a few minutes just to dive into a couple other details on this slide. The first thing I will note, you've heard me reference this a few times, is that this is a Program F benefit. Some of you may have heard or, or maybe have talked to uh, coworkers or friends that there was a Plan F available that people could buy on their own from private health insurance companies here in the state of Iowa. Those benefits are the same as the Program F that the University of Northern Iowa is offering you. However, in the last year, there has been a change in terms of what your capabilities are uh, buying your own Medicare care supplement plans and let me highlight what that change was. Effective January 1st, 2020, a new federal law came into effect that said that if you become eligible for Medicare after January 1st of 2020, if you become eligible for Medicare Part A after that date, you are no longer eligible to purchase a Plan F on your own. In other words, if you go out shopping today and you aged into Medicare, let's say this month, to use our previous example, October of 2020, you would not be able to purchase a Plan F on your own. However, because the University of Northern Iowa is sponsoring this Program F benefit from an employer basis, your eligibility date has no bearing on whether you can purchase this Program F or not. In other words, no matter what time you aged into Medicare, you are eligible uh, for the Program F benefit. So that's a very nice thing. Uh, for those of you who have recently aged into Medicare, you likely are not able to purchase a Plan F on your own. The only way you can get these richest benefits is through this offering from the University of Northern Iowa. The biggest difference between F and the next plan available in the individual market is that there is a Medicare Part B deductible. You can see that on the slide, it is the fourth row down. That deductible this year is roughly $200. And if you purchase another plan or the next richest plan on your own, you will be required to meet that deductible. However, through the program F, you can see that there is a check mark. That deductible is covered for you. In other words, Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield will cover that $200 deductible. 
That deductible does change. It has gone up on an annual basis. We don't know what will happen with that in the future, but with this Program F benefit, you can rest easy knowing that it's never going to impact you because uh, the insurance company, in this case, Wellmark, covers that uh, Part B deductible for you each and every year. The other thing that's important to note is the fifth row down where it says Medical Part B Excess Charge. And this is a very important benefit of a Program F plan and one I wanted to take just a few moments to cover with you. What does Medical Part B Excess Charge mean? Well, what that means is that if you go to a provider without a plan that covers this excess charge, if you go to a Part B provider anywhere in the United States that does not accept Medicare assignment, or in other words, they do not agree to accept Medicare's reimbursement for the services they are providing, by law, they are allowed to charge you additional or excess charges over on top of what they would have charged you otherwise. The good thing about a Program F benefit, you can see the check mark in this line as well, is that Wellmark will cover those charges for you. So what does that mean for you? What it means is that you can go to any provider in the United States of America that accepts Wellmark or that accepts Blue Cross and Blue Shield, which is the vast, vast majority of providers in the United States. So this program not only provides you with zero dollar deductible, zero copay, zero coinsurance, it also offers you the opportunity to participate in the widest network. In other words, as we already stated, any provider that accepts a Blue Cross and Blue Shield card. We feel very good about this benefit as a very rich benefit for those who have enjoyed program or plan F throughout the years. We hear lots of stories uh, about them receiving huge medical bills or seeing huge medical bills and the obligation that they have to pay out of their own pocket remains zero uh, because the F takes care of all of these uh, particular charges. It is one of the richest or if it's the richest plan that we offer today uh, in the Medicare market. The last thing I will note on this slide, we talked about this on the previous slide, was the premium amount, the $207.80. It is important to note that that amount will be billed directly to you by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. In other words, you do not have to pay anything to the University of Northern Iowa. Uh, you will pay your premium directly with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And for those of you who opt to enroll in this plan on your application, uh, there will be a variety of options for you in order to pay that premium. In the last few minutes and the last few slides, we covered the medical options available to you. We covered the Wellmark Employer Group Retiree Program that's sponsored to you by the University of Northern Iowa. We also talked about uh, the retiree HMO and PPO options available to you. It's important to note, uh, particularly with the Employer Group Retiree Program F, that those plans are medical only. In order to get coverage in the prescription drug side, and we all know that's a very important piece uh, of your coverage uh, past 65, we know what the costs of prescription drugs have done here in the last few years, there are additional coverages available to you to cover your prescription drugs or to cover you when you go to the pharmacy to fill your prescriptions. So in the next few slides, we'll highlight the options available to you, we'll cover some of the costs, and we'll give you some next steps in terms of enrolling in a prescription drug plan. The first slide in the prescription drug section gives a good overview of the uh, options available to you and some of the things to consider. I'll supplement some of the things with some notes that I've made that aren't necessarily uh, on the slide. But the first one I will talk about is bullet point number one, where we indicate that you as the member do have the option to purchase a Medicare Part D uh, plan or, or to purchase Medicare Part D coverage in addition to their employer group retiree program, whichever uh, solution you should happen to choose, uh, you do have the option to purchase a Medicare Part D plan. You have the option, bullet point number two, to choose between the group Part D option that is uh, sponsored by the University of Northern Iowa. That information is in your packet and in the next few slides we'll go over that program as well. Or you do have the option to shop for your own individual Medicare Part D plan. And we'll talk about what that means here uh, in just a few moments. High level, your group Part D option does cover specific generic and brand name drugs. And we do have a nationwide pharmacy, nearly 70,000 pharmacies uh, available. On this slide, it is also important to note that you do have an, a website available to you. For those of you who use the uh, online options, yourmedicaresolutions.com is the website to go to look at both group and individual Part D plans. A couple notes that I will make uh, on this slide, just as a reminder and just as a general guide when we think about group versus individual Part D plans. The first one I would say that is just in general, the group Part D plan does provide richer benefits for most people 
However, as you'll probably learn as you start to compare, the, compare these two options, it is a little bit higher on a monthly premium basis. And then obviously the reverse is true. If you go shop on your own, in general, the benefits won't be quite as rich, but the premiums will reflect that. They generally are a little bit lower uh, than what is offered to you through the group. There is no right or wrong answer. The best thing for you to do is work through what those costs might be, work with some of the representatives uh, on the phone number that we'll give you here in just a few moments to determine which option is best for for you. Uh, I did want to talk as well uh, about deadlines, and we'll talk about this again when we get to the next steps, but I just wanted to hit this a few times. Uh, there is a deadline. If you want to purchase your own individual Part D plan uh, on the Part D side, that open enrollment period, your annual enrollment period, lasts from October 15th through December the 7th of 2020, and whichever plan you select during that time will be effective January 1st of 2021. The same is true for the group Part D option. Your deadline to apply for one of those plans is December 7th of 2020, with that coverage taking place in 2021. For anybody who enrolled in the group Part D option last year, if you wanna keep this group Part D option for 2021, you do not need to do anything. Those plans will automatically renew unless you tell us not to. So again, if you took the group Part D option sponsored by the University of Northern Iowa last year, you need to do nothing. If you wanna shop for something new, your deadline to do so is December 7th of 2020. It's very important, particularly on the individual side, if you try to enroll after December 7th, you will not be able to until February 1st, and you do have to have a qualifying event at that point. So it is very important. October 15th through December 7th is your deadline for either of these prescription drug coverage options. So on the previous slide, we talked a little bit high level about the group Medicare Part D plan available to you. Here on this slide and in your packet is some information on the University of Northern Iowa's group Medicare Part D plan. I'm not gonna go through all of the details. There's a lot of different uh, components to this slide. You can see that there are differing copays for 30 day and 90 day supplies. You can also see uh, that there is some additional coverage available to you on this group Medicare Part D plan that is not available on every uh, individual plan that you may shop for. You can see at the top of the slide that there is no deductible. That's bullet point number three. And bullet point number four at the top of the slide, there is no coverage gap. So as I mentioned on the previous slide, in general, the benefits for the group Medicare Part D plan are a little bit richer, uh, but the premiums, as we said, will reflect that. I do have the rates available to you for the group Medicare Part D option. These should also be in your packet, but as we're talking through, it's important to know the rates for next year for 2021 for the group Part D plan that we are referencing here on this slide is $161.90. That's actually down a little bit from the previous year. You can glance through the materials on this slide and in your packets. Again, I don't wanna overwhelm you with all of the details today. You have the opportunity to review the group Medicare Part D option. In just a few moments, we'll give you a phone number that you can call uh, to help review those plans. But again, this is option number one for you, group Medicare Part D plan sponsored by the University of Northern Iowa. If you wish to shop on your own, we'll give you some uh, information on that in the next slide. On the previous few slides, we talked about the group Medicare Part D option. And what we wanna do next is give you a place to go to discuss these options, to compare uh, the group plan sponsored by the University of Northern Iowa and what you may be able to purchase on your own and where to go to have those questions answered and to help get help with that comparison. On this slide, the text is a little bit small, but you can see in the middle, the third sentence down, or excuse me, the third line down. If you have a pen, you may wanna jot this number down. That number is 800-691-1030. Again, that number, 800-691-1030. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, Central Time. If you uh, dial that phone number, you will reach a representative from Wellmark who can discuss your group Medicare Part D options as well as any individual options that we offer. Uh, and you can make a comparison between those plans and decide which is best for you. Again, important deadline, December 7th of 2020. You must make that election for either the group or the individual plans. The only thing I would add to this particular slide is that there are other carriers out there who offer prescription drug plans. If you wish to review those, you may talk to an agent in your community who's licensed and certified to sell Medicare Part D 
or you can reference the federal government's website, medicare.gov, M-E-D-I-C-A-R-E.gov, to go out and compare other individual plans here available in the state of Iowa. So we've gone through a lot of detail. We've gone through a lot of things in the short amount of time we've had together today. We've talked about Medicare, uh, Medicare basics, parts A and parts B. What do those look like? What might they cost me? What benefits do I receive? We've talked about the supplemental medical coverage that's available to you through Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield, whether that be the Medicare Employer Group uh, Program F type benefit or the HMO PPO options available to you. We've talked about prescription drug coverage, both from a group and an individual basis. Let's talk about what steps do I need to take next or what steps do you need to take next in order to take advantage of any or all of these programs. The first step, of course, is to take a look at all of these plans and decide which best meets your needs in 2021 and going forward. The first decision is on the medical piece, where we determine whether you want to stay or, or elect one of the HMO or PPO options available to you uh, from the University of Northern Iowa, or take a look at the Employer Group Retiree Program F. So that's the first consideration. As we mentioned earlier, the program F generally is a premium only plan and the widest network available to you. The carve out HMO and PPO options uh, may be more familiar to you. They've been available for some time, but they may carry with them uh, additional costs in terms of deductibles, uh, co-pays, co-insurance, and that type of thing. The next selection, of course, then would be your Medicare Part D option. And as we mentioned in the previous few slides, you do have two options available to you there. You can purchase or elect to enroll in the group Medicare Part D option provided by the University of Northern Iowa, or you may go shop for your own plans. And we've discussed how to go about that. It is important and a big reminder on this slide you can see in the black box. Once you leave either the HMO or PPO, Northern Iowa Retiree Plan options, you are unable to return. So if you elect the program F, you must remain with that program F uh, if you want to take advantage of any of the programs offered by the University of Northern Iowa. The Medicare Part D plan, that is a year-to-year -year consideration. You can enroll in one, and if you decide to uh, go shop on your own, you do have that capability and flexibility. I'm going to repeat the phone number that we've repeated a few times through this presentation, but if you have any further questions in terms of what, do I, what should I consider for both medical or, or medic, uh, prescription drug coverage, uh, what paperwork do I need, uh, all those types of things, you do have the packet of materials that should have been provided by the University of Northern Iowa's team. And if you have further questions, of course, you can start with them at the University of Nor Northern Iowa. They can point you in our direction. Otherwise, I'm going to repeat the phone number I mentioned just a few minutes ago. That phone number to reach a Wellmark authorized representative is 1-800-691-1030. Again, 800-691-1030. And with that, I'm going to close my presentation today. Again, I thank you for your time. I thank you for you, your years of service with the University of Northern Iowa. Again, all of us at Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield wish you and, the family, you and your family nothing uh, but happiness and health in, in these uncertain times. We appreciate you taking some time with us today. Again, if you have any further questions, contact your team at the University of Northern Iowa or uh, contact Wellmark with the number I've given you a few times. I want to wish you all the happiest, healthiest, and safest 2021. We look forward to working with you, and we thank you for your time today.